Hey, this is Chad with homeschoolwebmaster.com, and we have taken a look at everything under structure here. Um, our very first lesson, we looked at appearance and setting up our theme. We're going to take a look at people today, and people in a normal Drupal site. Okay, now this is Drupal Gardens in a normal Drupal site that you hosted yourself. There's a lot more features here. There's not very many features, but it is it is workable. Okay, um, so we're going to go into this. First of all, um, your list of people, your gar uh, gardens admin and whoever you set up will be listed here. But what if you want to invite a friend? You go right here and invite people and say uh, <clears throat> you have a friend that wants to blog with you. And so you could come over here and add their email address and you can invite them. Okay. Now, how do they set up? Well, let's let's just do this. Um, I'm going to type in. Okay. So I just typed in an email address of one of mine and I'm going to go to that. It's a. Uh, all right, and the once you type in the person's email address, this email right here is sent to them. So, uh, webmaster at homeschoolwebmaster dot com, which is my uh, email at there to me you have been invited to be a member of the android apps.drupalgardens.com site hosted by drupal gardens please log in using the link below and the email address to complete your registration um so here's the link when you click on it when you click on it it's going to take you back to your site okay um but since you're logged in it's kind of not going to work right so what i'm going to do is open um, a page in Google Chrome I'm gonna paste it since I'm not logged in there and it's going to take you to the login page or at least it should and it's going to ask you to log in with your email okay or a username or password but what if this other person hasn't been set up on has never logged into Drupal Gardens before um, you click right here not a member and it's going to take you and you're going to create account not for your website not for the Android apps.com this is going to be for the entire Drupal Gardens so in essence they're going to be creating their own Drupal Gardens account okay and create account so so once you create a new um, account, it says inst instructions to log in to your Android apps has been sent to your email address. So let's go back to that. So right here it comes in. Hey, Chad Blogger, thank you for registering with uh, the site. And that you can now use this to log in. So we're going to take this. And remember, since you're already logged in in this browser, to use a different browser. And we're going to type that in there copy and paste push enter and it's going to pop up do you want to log in it's a one-time login it's going to ask you do you want to set your password which you do and confirm it doesn't have enough strength there so okay all right, so make sure you get a good password. And now that I am logged in, I have whatever permissions they give me, okay? I don't have any access to the menu bar. I can't really edit this stuff. It doesn't give me the mouse over. So let's go back here, close this stuff, and let's go back into our people here and we're going to refresh the page since I've already become a member with this imaginary guy Chad blogger now shows up but we have to give him permissions so we go in here and we say what role do we want this blogger to have first of all do we want him active or blocked uh, is he an authenticated user is he a blogger editor administrator site owner let's just make him a blogger do we want him to receive follow-up notifications we want him to receive all comments 
I mean, you don't have to set this up. I'm just working through here and make it so you can have personal contact information. Uh, what's his uh, local settings? Um, we'll just leave it default and we'll save. Okay. You as the administrator, just set him up as a blogger. Now let's go back to our account here and refresh. See what happens. Suddenly I can see the blogger menu. Now remember we set up the menu to only show up for bloggers. Okay. Now I have a menu structure up here. It says, hello, Chad blogger, and I can go view content and I can view all this but I'm not really seeing an edit button okay uh, it's not really an edit button or anything like that I can add a new blog let's see if I can add a new blog so right there so where do I go to really affect the blogger let's go back over here um, to our administration page I'm in Firefox logged in as administrator and let's go to permissions okay right over there next to the people and now you notice I've set him up as a blogger or I'm also an authenticated user what can these people do okay so they can go and let's say I'm gonna control F which brings up my finder and let's put in the word edit let's find out what the blogger can edit I'm gonna highlight all so as we scroll down can he edit his own comments well that's already checked yes and notice the authenticated user can't scroll down here Ah, can he edit own follow links yes can he edit the site-wide follow links ah, we're not gonna let him do that and users follows links we're not gonna really mess with that right now edit media no we don't want him to do that edit own blog entry content yes can he edit any blog entry content yes um, and notice he's all checked oops I'm looking at the editor right here is the blogger uh, can he edit any blog entry on the content well do you want this blogger to be able to do that no we just want him to mess with his own stuff and so does he does the blogger edit gallery no no can he edit the poll stuff um, he can edit his own polls uh, he can also create a poll so if, if we don't want him creating polls we uncheck that on the blogger and maybe we set up another um, role as a blogger slash poll person and so you can go through and assign what he can and cannot do right now we just mainly want him to set up you know do blogs uh, can he assign uh, the URL alias on that blog yes and uh, can he create and edit URL uh, aliases and so once you have set up your bloggers permissions go through there use your uh, find in your uh, explore and find like edit and view is the easiest way to to look at them all but go through and set up your blogger once you've done that set up his permissions okay uh, you can go back to go back to the tag of, of list and now your blogger is set up okay so you've invited him he's in there and he's active he's been active for five minutes 23 seconds and so we go back to this and you notice he has very limited uh, things that he can do but you have set up a person to be a blogger on your site and now you have a community yep if you add another person that would be a community um, so that's it um, that covers people you can set them up invite all your friends to blog uh, you can set up a whole community and you can even have people sign up there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with that that's as far as we're gonna go today um, without getting into real-world application that's kind of the overview of people so um, take it uh, you know have fun invite 10 friends and then you can have a whole bunch of people writing on your site on your topic alright this is Chad with homeschoolwebmaster.com talk to you soon